gratitude to you for uh, accepting us as uh, your uh, mentee and um, being your being you as the mentor for uh, our institution we pay our gratitude to you <laughs> hello yes ma'am yes. and uh, as a president of iic of tirthankar mahavir university i uh, very cordially invite uh, rurki institute of technology uh, to guide us and uh, to make us more aware on this platform and uh, be able to uh, make us to go on that path where we are striving for and uh, i am very much hopeful that under your mentorship under your guidance the innovation entrepreneurial ecosystem at our university would really be paced up and we look forward towards your guidance and uh, everywhere wherever uh, we would be stuck we would be requiring your expertise madam and um, again i congratulate all the participants who are there on this platform today we are taking this maiden uh, event uh, on the mentor mentee platform to be a real beginner on the path of excellence in this iic initiative taken up by tmu so thank you so much ma'am on behalf of team iic tmu and i wish all the best in this journey where we have to cover up lot of things uh, under your leadership under your guidance thank you so much dr manjula is here or we can proceed so do log hain see this talk ma'am we can proceed ma'am we can proceed okay 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 thank you dr dab so today we are having with us an experienced personality mr sham kumar who is serving as manager at iim lucknow sidbi center for innovations in financial inclusion a social incubator at iim lucknow he is having a vast professional entrepreneur paradigm had seen many such ventures from shaping ideas to scalable business he had successfully implemented a couple of skills and entrepreneurship projects of government yeah. of india he will be addressing the students and faculties on proof of concept under orientation come vision building program so i welcome mr shah yeah what am i doing i'm just asking that uh, all the student who are present here they are from different streams right yes sir i mean they are from uh, uh, btech students basically uh, btech mba uh, some undergraduate like okay. bba for agriculture also agriculture okay so is a pure heterogeneous group yeah. so i'll try to uh, you know justify myself with all of you because i'm going to deliver a very uh, you know generic things that you need to understand uh, if you are developing the poc i mean you reach to the poc level okay now uh, before starting i would like to hear from students that on my screen there is two things written there that like invention and innovation so anybody can tell me what is a different difference between these two or they are just you know synonyms to each other sir may i yeah sure i mean voluntarily this one or two Tom. sir invention means to discover something and sir innovation means um, uh something create something through your mind and uh, which is already discovered okay anyone else yes sir invention means to discover something or innovation means uh, means uh, find out error and developed that error that's called innovation okay anybody else would yes, like yes sir may i yes yeah. sir uh, sir invention means to uh, invent something to create something new but innovation means the idea to recreate the created thing in a new way okay you are most likely to be uh, on the edge so that's great because i why i am uh, bring this out here because most of the student don't know what is the innovation and what is the invention because generally we are talking we are speaking like oh we did a innovation here is a breakthrough invention or a innovation 
so uh, i mean before reaching to that we have to understand the very symptomatic differences between them so you see on the screen i mean prachi ji was very true that invention can be defined as the creation of a product or a process for the first time as compared to the innovation it's on a gradual process i mean you're working on that invention and uh, implementing that your idea or refining that idea behalf of that invention already been done right so for example i mean uh, you see that invention like x rays airplanes wheels electric bulbs these are a couple of invention that have been done long back and we are keep innovating new things on the ground so uh, with one example i would like to clear this thing to you i mean you see i mean on my left hand side on the screen you have a gramophone which is initially been developed this and after that so many years the invention happened you see that there's a telephone then is a wireless thing then comes to the mobile on the basic phone then qwerty phone then a touch phone is a gradual process over the years which is innovation on the same ground we build processors long back and same processor has been used in different devices so the processor initially been developed are the invention but the usability right now in different devices is the innovation some other example is a bulb from the edison now we have this filament reached to the tube lights to the fluorescent bulbs and now going to led i would like to uh, mention is here that uh, the concept is initially been developed which is called invention and over the years we are simply using that invention and refining with our own ideas is called innovation okay now i have a one video uh, which i would like to play with you uh, maybe is a youtube video this is a, a soil testing kit has been developed by iit kanpur researchers with a student with the professors so i would like to play it here fine i would like to pause it here why i show this video to you because lots of students are connected today and the faculty members also this innovation is not a breakthrough innovation i would say aisa nahi hai ki uh, aaj se pehle soil testing hoti nahi thi soil testing bahut par pehle se ho rahi hai jitne bhi kvks hain they know how to do the soil testing but uska jo process hai that is very cumbersome i mean somebody comes to your field collect some uh, soil and go to the laboratory and the report comes after 24 to 48 hours then farmers have to wait okay so this is a very tedious process someone takes this challenge and try to solve it with some device uh, they manufacture uh, they um, connected with the iots so these kind of small small uh, innovative thoughts you know comes in our mind and someone who works and could be a breakthrough so i mean this device is a soil testing already been piloted tested and under the phasing of commercialization so i thought uh, this would be a great example for you to understand uh, how we can proceed to our idea pursuing our idea and from idea to a great product in the market kumar se
Okay, now, uh, I'm moving towards the development phases of a startup. On your screen, there are two images. On the top, you have a seed who is sowing and germinated and gradually grows up and built in a small tree kind of thing. On the uh, bottom of the image, there is another image who is uh, defining the development phases of a startup which is correlated each other. So, uh, I mean you see the pre-startup phase, then startup phase, then growth phase. Like, so when we started something from ideation, I have some idea, somebody says I have some idea, I am working on it, so it is under pre-startup stage, you know. And from that idea to some concrete thing, we are doing the POC, proof of concept. Now today we are going to discuss on a uh, little bit on POC. Now from POC, you have to move to your prototyping. Like my product is, this is a prototype, I can show it to somebody else. Now from prototype to a, a you know, full-fledged product is another phase. Then it's called MVP, minimum viable product for the market. And we do the testing, palleting, the validation, check it out whether it is a product market fit or not. Then we are going for a scaling and the, your venture or a startup is going to scale gradually. So uh, I am focusing, going to focus on this part basically from ideation to POC which is, comes under the pre-startup stage. It is okay. Is it uh, clear to everybody? Everybody is, uh, I mean, getting what I am saying or is something I am talking about very high level thing? It's quite clear, sir. Oh, great. Now, what exactly the POC is? A POC is a very critical first step, which is leading from uh, your implementation of your product or solution. It's an exercise that tests the idea that is designed to demonstrate the feasibility of a product. So you see that, uh, I mean, uh, from the ideation phase, you have some idea, you do the POC. I mean, how this idea will work is the is a concept, how the concept will be implemented and then it converts to the prototype. As I shown an example in the video that initially there was a thought that we will make some soil testing, kit will prepare and then with they, these guys uh, done the POC, then they come up with the final uh, a rough prototype, then test it in the market, do the pilots, take some feedback and again uh, on the feedback they work and prepare a, product which is already in the market. Now, <clears throat> startup funding life cycle is also very important to understand by the students and the faculty who are, uh, you know, joining this paradigm of entrepreneurship. Because you are finally funding So, you have to understand that the initial phase, hai, you see this diagram, uh, you know, on the X axis you have a time, on the Y axis you have a revenue. So on, uh, I think the fourth quadrant, I mean X is a plus, Y is a minus, and you see this, uh, you know, uh, red graph line, you know, first, first is having a dip, you know, then it crosses the X axis and gradually uh, moving up and going forward towards scaling the project. Now this area, you see the dip, you know, uh, uh, the it's called value of death. Why is value of death? Most of the startups, the idea, they are you know just started and they're getting shut down. They're not materialized. They're not pursuing that idea due to any reason that it failed. But this process, I mean, this area, this phase is very critical to uh, you know. If you survive this stage, then I'm pretty sure that uh, you will move ahead. So uh, I mean, we'll talk on this box, how you can arrange funds, where the fund comes for your idea for the POC and uh, anybody knows what, what is break even? A point of no profit, no loss. Okay, fine. Anybody else? Any student? What is break even? Mm. 
the point we cannot uh, return back sir from that point you cannot come back again so that point is a break even point okay anyone anybody anybody else can share his thought on break even i would encourage uh, the student uh, should be very you know uh, active because i don't want to be one sided lecture uh, this should be a interactive one so uh, if any thought comes in your mind please uh, go ahead uh, a moment where all variable cost are recovered okay fine the, po the point cannot we cannot uh, come back again so it's a break even point we cannot reverse it the okay. point is ultimate point Yes, yeah, exactly the same thing. So, अगर मैं इसको एक लेमन की भाषा में कहूँ कि what is break even? क्या है ये break even? अपने business के लिए अगर मैं आगे POC level से आगे जाता हूँ और prototyping भी कर लेता हूँ कि business में मैंने जितना पैसा या अपने startup में या venture में मैंने जितना पैसा invest किया है वो मेरा निकल आया उसके बाद जो मेरे पास आएगा मतलब वो point जहाँ पे वो आपने जितना पैसा लगाया है और वो आपको दोबारा मिल गया That point is called break even. उसके बाद जो आपको receiving होगी वो शायद आपका profit count होगा margin count होगा तो लेकिन business में ये break even point जो है ये achieve करना भी एक target है So I mean through this picture I think uh, it's pretty much clear that the different stages uh, and the first initial stages you uh, look for the angels F F F what is F F F anybody have idea Okay, I'll tell you later on. Uh, so you need basically a seed capital. Seed capital you needed for your POC to develop your prototype, and after that you need some huge amount of fund. So these angels are the people for the initial stage investors basically. As the name suggests, they're angels, so they comes like a god to you and give some money, invest in your company, and you can build your product gradually. and the later down the line you see the early stage and the later stages there are some other uh, venture capitalists from comes who invest money in your venture against the equity and after that you go for the ipo that is a very broad thing i would like you don't want to talk here but we have to focus on this section first that okay uh, so different funding avenues now uh, you see that uh, i'm moving from innovation invention to the poc sir. then sir, uh, sir. haan ji sir what are the benefits of angel investor for investing in any startup uh what are the benefit of a angel investor yes sir okay aapko paisa chahiye aap paisa kahan se layenge अपने वेंचर के लिए अपने आइडिया के लिए एंजल इन्वेस्टर से आएगा लेकिन एंजल इन्वेस्टर का फायदा क्या है उसमें अच्छा फायदा क्या है उसमें देखिए आप अगर एक इन्वेस्टर का फायदा पूछ रहा हूँ मैं मेरा फायदा नहीं पूछ रहा हूँ नहीं ठीक है मैं बता रहा हूँ आपको उसका फायदा ये है आइडिया है ना अभी तो सिर्फ अपने पास ठीक है लेकिन आप, आपके उस आइडिया में जो इन्वेस्ट करेगा उसको भी तो कुछ चाहिए होगा आपसे तो वो जो चाहिए उसको आपसे वो है आपके फर्म में या आपके वेंचर में इक्विटी अगर वो इक्विटी नहीं लेगा अगर कोई प्राइवेट एंटिटी है जो कहता है कि साहब मैं आपके फर्म में पैसा लगा रहा हूँ लेकिन मुझे साहब ये दो साल में जो है ना दो गुना चाहिए या एक्स अमाउंट इसका रेज चाहिए सो दे गॉट बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम दैट या तो आपके कंपनी में वो शेयर लें या तो उनका पैसा डबल हो ये है उनका बेनिफिट फिर वो आपके मन से एग्जिट कर जाएंगे अभी मैं आऊंगा उसके बारे में लेकिन पहले मैं थोड़ा ये समझ लूं कि भाई अपने पीओसी को मेटलाइज करने के लिए मुझे कहां कहां से चीजें अरेंज हो सकती हैं नाउ द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज दैट एंजल और द जो मैं एफएफएफ की बात कर रहा था दैट एफएफएफ एफ स्टैंड फॉर फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स सो पहला uh, हमारा जो टारगेट यही होता है कि अगर मेरे माइंड में सम आइडिया कोई आइडिया है और मैं उसको मेटलाइज करने के लिए जा रहा हूँ देन आई लुक फॉर माई फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कि भाई मैंने अपने 
पेरेंट्स से पैसे मांग लिए फिर मैंने अपने दो चार रिश्तेदारों को चिपका दिया कि साहब मुझे इतना अमाउंट दे दीजिए मैं आपको इतना करके दे दूँगा सो दैट इज़ अ फर्स्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट मेड इन द कंपनी इट इनिशियल इनिशियल स्टेटस नो वट इज द सेकेंड एवेन्यू द सेकेंड एवेन्यू स्टैंड फॉर grants so doing your proof of concept the very reliable thing is that government today nowadays having so many programs so many departments the different departments providing grants for different different sections different different products so dst is having department of science and technology having many uh, initiatives under which uh, they can provide some grants to the projects so nidhi is one of them tied science and technology for women there are so many other schemes of dst uh, you can explore on the internet or from their website now uh, third avenue would be also uh, msme grants meet grant challenges so ministry of uh, it and electronics also conducting time to time some innovation challenges so the, through which if your product got selected you or you need grants for poc you can uh, apply for this so these are the government avenues now students uh, uh, from the bi biotechnology uh, they have a dbt i mean department of biotechnology having some grants from the birec one of the ambitious project of the government of india and biognest is also there so uh, these are the government avenues that uh, you guys can explore for initial stage uh, poc now uh, startup india seed fund scheme is also there बट यू हैव टू कम्प्लाई फॉर इट कि आप उसमें बिलोंग करते हैं कि नहीं लाइक करते हैं कि नहीं वो आपको देखना पड़ेगा नाउ द अदर सिक्स एवेन्यू इज लाइक लो नॉट डेप्ट फंडिंग कि ठीक है आई इफ आई एम नॉट क्वालिफाइंग ऑल ऑफ दीज देन आई कैन टेक अ लोन फ्रॉम द बैंक और समवेर एल्स एंड द लास्ट माइल रिजॉर्ट फॉर मी इज द एंजल इन्वेस्टर और द अर्ली स्टेज इन्वेस्टर और द प्राइवेट इन्वेस्टर्स whom we can approach we can uh, present our product show them this is my idea i am working on it and this is the poc for the poc i need from money and uh, this are the outcomes will be comes later on so these are the seven uh, funding avenues that i try to figure it out for you guys and uh, you guys can look into it and explore it ki kahan se mere ko paise arrange ho sakte hain now you got i mean you are approaching for funding so it's definitely uh, you have to tell someone what is my product all about and for that you need to pitch so pitching in front of some audience some group of people is an art basically and the more you you know uh, pre exercise it i would say uh the more you will successful is something like that uh, is it something uh, i can correlate with the vibe of the student i mean all the students who uh, given their uh, practical examination after some external uh, invigilator comes and uh, vibe right is it the same thing uh, what i am telling you hello yes sir you are audible no i am asking that uh, asking from the student like uh, is it the same thing that i am telling that uh, you can correlate this pitching thing pitching idea to uh, just like your viva you know examination i mean uh, prepare karte ho bahut sari cheeze fir aap yes, sir. practical exam dete ho koi external examiner aata hai aapse in asking question which is quite relevant to your project what exactly you did so is it the same thing i mean the idea that you are pursuing you are trying to work on it you want to develop something so is it the same thing that you are pitching in front of a group of people who is called investor or angel investor the vcs or the grant or the governments etc is it the same thing so you must know each and every corner of your idea 
how, what is your idea how you are going to you know uh, develop it what is the technicality how you are going to market it what is your business plan everything should you know so now moving towards the next section which is okay winning pitch recipes okay so on your screen there are so many things so how you pitch i mean you i mean would you like to go with a piece of paper in front of someone okay, this is my idea or you would like to tell some someone verbally this is my idea or you would like to go with some slide presentation which one would you prefer I need some answer from my student. Slide presentation. Okay. <clears throat> Anybody else? Sir, pitch deck. Pitch deck. Okay. Or any? Proper pitch deck. हाँ ठीक है. Proper pitch deck. Or any? है. Fine. so uh, when we are approaching someone for uh, discussing your idea you have to ready with your slide presentation which is called pitch deck lekin wo deck jo hai aapka us deck mein kitni slide honi chahiye iska koi andaza hai kya minimum 10 okay aur koi minimum 10 maximum 20 okay aur see the very primary thing you have to understand presentation or of different types okay i mean the person who are going to approach doesn't have much time okay they are quite uh, you know uh, they are industry people basically or some department or the scientist or whatever so by looking glimpse of your deck or the presentation within two or three slide they understand what exactly you are doing and what is your idea so as much as you crisp as much as you shorten within 10 slide is actually very much important so what are inside this with 10 slide agar main 10 slides ki baat karu to us 10 slide mein main kya kya cheeze cater kar sakta hu jo samne meri audience hai jisko main pitch kar raha hu uske liye relevant hai so definitely i mean uh, all these points that mention on the screen like problem statement is very much important i mean what kind of problem you are solving this problem you have to mention very clearly i mean framing framing that problem statement how big is the problem you can present whether this problem you are solving this in only in nationwide problem is a global problem which problem you are addressing okay and against this problem what is your solution offering so offering is also important ki how you solve this problem and what methodology you are preparing for it and how uh, you handle this problem now what is your product and technology now uh, is hardly take one slide because you are not going to tell your ip they do they don't need the laborious process how you, each and every corner of uh, i mean the process they just want a glimpse how your technology work now business model and business cases this comes later on because uh, some people having a myth that i mean these investors need business model but actually this is not true for any business for any startup or any venture business model ki mujhe zarurat jo hai ya business plan ki jo zarurat hai wo mujhe khud ko zyada hai as a start rather than investor ko because i have to uh, look towards my business as a professional and i have to understand each and every aspect now you can also mention the market size how big be big is market you are targeting competition is also very important because when you are approaching someone they might ask this question very frequently if they found your product or your idea is having a novelty component so they will definitely ask you what is your competitor what is your competition is there already pro, uh, already the uh, companies in the market were solving this problem or you are the only one who was looking to looking towards it right 
Now, what is your marketing plan? Suppose I am giving funding to you, how you plan later on? How you pushing it to markets? So this is also important. Examples of competitive advantage, how you are better than others. If already there are some players who are solving this problem, how you are better? So you have to mention all these points. Team size is also very important. What are the members of your team? Is also I mean, one of the key factors when some going to invest in your company, right? Challenges and needs gaps. So you have to identify the challenges in the society, in the market you are addressing in. And last mile is the financial projection. So you have to you have to show at least for three years projection. I would suggest in your deck in a slide presentation we are approaching someone for funding. So these are the I mean basic things that you have to cater, you have to include in your pitch decks uh, while uh, approaching for any grant or any kind of uh, initial stage funding for your product. Now, uh, what are the key tips I would like to give you here is like, identify the key points, the key points about your product, what exactly it's solving what is uh, you know uh, competitive advantage over others be concise is also very important because i already told you that these people are the industry professionals they uh, already every day they are going for so many decks in the market uh, very concise and crisp in your words make the stage stage make the stage yours i mean i already told you that this is hard so aap jaise hi bolna shuru karte hain so this is somehow related to your interpersonal skills. Okay, somebody may good at genius at programming or coding uh, or doing business, but being a good orator, being a good leadership is also needed. So that quality comes under the uh, interpersonal uh, skills. Split your startup pitch deck into different section. So uh, generally, uh, we when we are preparing the decks having the 10 slide or 15 slide or 20 slide, whatever. So someone might ask you, okay, now you have taken enough time back to just go to your financials. So at that time you are in hassle because you hardly two, three minutes or five minutes or 10 minutes pitch. So someone told me, someone told you that uh, uh, just move to your financial projection. So you what happens slide So it is important that you can, uh, break sections in your slide presentation and you can directly jump into it so that saves your time and uh, you you know escape from the hassles the last minutes control your breathing to settle your voice is also very important when you are delivering your pitch someone may cross questioning to you it may possible so if you are not able to answer or shaking you know uh, then it's gone actually it's completely waste so uh, your pitch, I mean voice pitch is also very important. Be careful about where you look. This is a very uh, big mistake generally students do that while they are talking to someone who is quite senior. So they are not, uh, they are talk, uh, talking to him but looking somewhere else. So this eye contact is very much important because someone is sitting in front of you uh, so you have to maintain an eye contact with your audience. So this shows your confidence that yes, okay, you are in, in the inside the room you are pitching in. So don't fear the audience, don't uh, bluff, don't uh, say wrong projections to wrong figures, anything else. And always have an exit strategy. Exit in the sense, I mean, wo kehte na, shuru acha hua hai, to ant bhi acha hona chahiye. So that is the same thing like uh, when you are starting something and you capture the audience. So your exit is also important. I mean you may uh, leave them with some questions or you ask questions they have any and you can show at the end some video or some animation or graphics to explain your uh, idea what exactly how it works. So these are a couple of points uh, that uh, tips basically that you can uh, imply while uh, preparing your deck. So these are the couple of things that uh, I want to uh, deliver to you. I hope uh, I did uh, my justification with you. 
and uh, these are couple of uh, social media handles uh, that are we are available as an incubator sci-fi s c i f i i m l sci-fi so you can get connected with us on website on linkedin facebook twitter instagram and youtube channel so i am open for questions if you have any Okay, so nobody is asking questions, so it put me in a doubt. Either I can deliver. Any questions, students? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Hi. Students, ask your questions, please. Sir. Hello. Hello. Yes, mother. Yes, ma'am. You can ask the question. Hello. Mother, you can ask the question. Ma'am, I have a plan. And okay. Uh, but uh, my field is MBA, means I am from management background. I don't have knowledge of coding and web development. So I need team for design my website. And so I have the idea how to make team and how to encourage any co-founder from technical background. Okay, great. So this is also a very important question that you asked. How to build a great team? So, see, Madhur, your idea has been shared with your friends. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, okay. So, what is your fear that they will take your idea? Yes, sir. We can say that. It is not like that. अगर आप अपने आइडिया पे बहुत क्लोजली वर्क करना चाहते हैं तो अपने जो आपके क्लोज कनेक्शन में लोग हैं अदरवाइज इंटरनेट इज ओपन ओके सो यू हैव टू हाउ टू बिल्ड अ ग्रेट टीम इज ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अ स्टार्टअप वेंचर सर मुझे एक मतलब फाउंडिंग मेंबर चाहिए जो कि टेक्निकल हो मींस उसको टेक्निकल का अच्छा खासा नॉलेज होना चाहिए देखिए आप अभी समय कॉलेज में हैं तो आपके कॉलेज के कम्युनिटी से अगर आप किसी को पिक करेंगे सबसे बेहतर वही है लेकिन उसमें इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज़ जो है वो ये है कि वो आपकी आइडियोलॉजी के साथ मैच करना चाहिए इज अ वेरी बिग मिस्टेक दैट पीपल आर डूइंग कि मैं किसी को भी उठा लूँ तो वो किसी को उठाने से नहीं चलता जो आपके उस आइडिया में बिलीव करता है एंड दैट इज योर एंड दैट इज योर कॉल कि मैं उसको कैसे अपना आइडिया कम्युनिकेट कर रहा हूँ कैसे मैं उसको विश्वास दिलाऊँ कि बॉस जो मैं कह रहा हूँ वो सही है और अगर हम इस पे काम करते हैं देन वी कैन गो समर एल्स सर ऐसे तो लोग मिलते हैं कि हाँ अच्छा आइडिया है लेकिन कोई ऐसा नहीं मिलता कि जो कहे हाँ मैं तेरे साथ वर्क करूंगा देखिए ये बहुत ही टेक्निकल चैलेंज है स्टार्टिंग फाउंडिंग टीम के लिए लेकिन मेरा सजेशन यही है कि अगर आप अभी कॉलेज लेवल पे ही हैं तो अपने कम्युनिटी में से ही लोगों को पिक करें वो ज्यादा बेहतर रहेगा रादर देन मूविंग आउटसाइड एंड हंड परसेंट वन क्योंकि अगर आप बाहर से लेंगे किसी को तो वो आपसे पैसे जरूर चार्ज करेगा कि भाई इफ आई एम वर्किंग आई नीड सम समाइपन यू नो और मेरे ब्रेड बटर के लिए मुझे कुछ पैसा चाहिए लेकिन यू आर नॉट एबल इन पोजीशन टू यू नो टू सो दैट्स आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू कि पिक समवन फ्रॉम योर कॉलेज फ्रॉम आई टी सी एस वट एवर द बैकग्राउंड दे हैव इफ दे आर गुड एट कोडिंग गो हैड विद and i have um, my pitch deck can i show you uh, you can share with me personally not here on your email id yeah, yeah. can you help me uh? see uh, i can guide you something but i can't commit you that i can give you much more, more time to it but i can surely help you out uh, your help is much valuable for me See, uh, these are the skills that you need to develop yourself. Okay, in future, if you are going to work on this idea, 
you become a leader so how you yes. become a leader by convince people and by engage people yes definitely yeah i think someone else is also also interested to ask something आई थिंक यहाँ पे दो चीजें हो सकती हैं या तो मैंने इतना ज्यादा ओवरलोड कर दिया है कि लोग क्वेश्चन नहीं पूछ पा रहे हैं या तो उनके कुछ समझ में नहीं आया दिस इज अ सेकेंड अपॉर्चुनिटी और ये दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू शेयर देर आइडिया विद मी दिस इज थर्ड एस्पेक्ट आई श्याम सर आई है क्वेश्चन हाँ जी बताइए बच्चे सोचेंगे क्वेश्चन तब तक मैं पूछ लेती हूँ सर एज यू टोल दैट यू नो इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द एंजल इन्वेस्टर की वो आपसे क्या मतलब उनकी क्या रिक्वायरमेंट रहेगी वेन एवर दे वॉन्ट टू इन्वेस्ट इन एनी प्लान और आइडिया मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि सर इज इज देर एनी पर्टिकुलर आई मीन स्टैंडर्ड सेटअप कि उनका कुछ परसेंटेज फिक्स है या कुछ अमाउंट फिक्स है ऐसा कुछ है या डिपेंड्स अपॉन द एंजल इन्वेस्टर कि वो क्या आपके साथ उनका क्या आई मीन टू से Uh, रहेगा uh, आपके साथ डिसाइड uh, करेंगे वो इसका कुछ बेसिस है या कोई स्टैंडर्ड सेट किया गया है देखिए व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एंजल्स सो आपका जो वेंचर है वो बिल्कुल आइडिएशन स्टेज पे है तो मैं सजेस्ट नहीं करूंगा कि आपको एंजल के पास जाना चाहिए यू हैव टू इनिशियली लुक फॉर योर फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देन लुक टूवर्ड्स द ग्रांट्स बिकॉज ग्रांट इज समथिंग दैट यू डोंट हैव टू रीपे यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग योर ग्रांट टू बिल्ड योर प्रोडक्ट right or any kind of you know soft loan kind of thing uh, which having no collateral or uh, you know very lesser interest or interest free loan you can say okay. these are the primary uh, you know uh, key spending supports for any idea but yes i mean you process this stage and you look yeah you might thinking that ki mere paas ab koi rasta nahi hai go for angels so angel is basically uh, looking for couple of things like whether is your firm is registered or not this is very important is a private limited or a whatever secondly what is your valuation of your company okay. and according to that valuation how much money you are asking and accordingly that they lies between 1 to 5 or 2 to 5% is a initial uh, idea seeding stage they are looking for okay okay thank you so much so i think there is no question from the participants uh, let us conclude the session so i dr aruna but convener iic rit roorki extend my sincere thanks to all the dignitaries present here on behalf of my institute and our menti institute tmu moradabad i give a really heartfelt vote of thanks to our expert mr sham kumar who spent his busiest time gracing the occasion today we had the opportunity to hear your thoughts and this is definitely encouraging us in our future events your thoughts have enlightened our minds and shown us a new path thanks to all the speakers for ad adorning the occasion and sharing their opinions today my special thanks to dr gidanshu dawar who was proactive in responding every time i sent her any message or information before i close this session let me hope that this program will help iic institutions to facilitate knowledge exchange and resource mobilization between institutions by offering inter institutional collaborations thank you everyone present here and thank you mr sham thank you so much thank you so much uh, dr aruna and uh, team from rit amit and the uh, faculty from uh, tmu uh, muradabad uh, for patiently listening me here and uh, i am sure that i did some justification through my deck and uh, pretty sure that uh, you receive something uh, from this one hour session and uh, catch you some other time in some other area yes, sir sir excuse me sir i have one question Hello. Who is this? There is some network issue. Yes, ma'am. Neha, uh, ma your voice is breaking. Neha. Your voice is breaking. Ma'am, I think there is a network issue that 
Yeah, you're, you're audible now. You can go ahead and ask your question. Okay. Sir, I want to ask, how can you make innovation a little bit easier in a daily life? Yeah, this is a very uh, generic Hello? and very... Uh, yeah, I, I, got, I got your question. So nobody teaches you how to do an innovation, very frankly. You have to understand the problem which is residing amongst your society. And this is your call how you are going to solve it. And for solving that problem, you have uh, different uh, faculty members, friends, some other institution. So you have to pick a problem statement first. Okay, I'm going to solve this. Where you are living, there will be a lot of issues there. I don't have to invention, but I have to do something uh, which is meaningful to society. Meaningful for the society. Take that challenge. And जो भी आपके पास आइडिया है अपने फैकल्टीज के साथ वो डिस्कस करें दे जज यू बेटर वेदर दिस आइडिया इज अ फिजिबल और डू हैव नीड सम रिफाइनमेंट एंड आफ्टर दैट कपल ऑफ रिफाइनमेंट्स यू कैन वर्क ऑन इट 